Welcome to Biz Alchemy, a podcast about creating a new business paradigm by women for women. I'm your alchemical host, Jacqueline Atkins, and I'm going to take you on an extraordinary adventure to create a business filled with ease, fun, spaciousness, and abundance. Hustle, be gone. Let's birth a new way. Welcome back. Oh, it's so nice to say those words and to be back here with you. It's only been a couple of weeks, but I feel like I've been disconnected from you, my beautiful Biz Alchemy podcast listeners, for ages. And um, I just, I'm excited to be back and sharing with you today. I'm not recording from my usual place. I'm staying at my brother's at Nelson Bay, and I'm here to help find my mum an aged care home to move into. And so I don't know how long I'll be here. I can only stay a short time and then we have to move somewhere else. So I'm being a bit of a gypsy at the moment until something becomes available for her. But, you know, it's so beautiful because my business is just weaving its way in through my life. And I'm really grateful that I'm able to do that with my business. I intended to continue with the series I was doing on the chakras, the personal chakras and how they affect your business. And this week would have been the solar plexus. But I don't feel inspired to talk about that. Interestingly, to do that, I would have gone through some notes and sort of had a look at the list of solar plexus things and decided on the three I wanted to talk about. And it all felt a little bit left brain for me. And I didn't feel to do that for this podcast episode. I wanted to do a flowing episode. I wanted to have a chat really (laughs) and not have it so structured. And because of my circumstances of the past few weeks where I've been doing a lot of traveling around, I've had a lot of family stuff going on and my relationship with my business has felt different in that time. And it came to me so strongly about how my business nurtures me. It really, really nurtures me. And so I thought that's actually what I feel like I want to explore with you because I've realized how my business grounds me because I have been really discombobulated and not, it's so interesting, not having the structure of my business week has discombobulated me. There's no other word for it. And um, and ungrounded me in that. So I've realized how I'm nurtured by my business in how it grounds me, in how it also connects me to the oneness. Because when I am giving sessions or when I'm on my Insight Timer Lives, doing meditations, doing these, uh, recording these podcast episodes, doing my group calls, When I'm doing that, I'm in that state of oneness. I'm connecting with my higher self as well as connecting with the earth. And so it really brings me into that beautiful space of clear flow and energy moving through me or channeling through me. And my business provides an opportunity for me to do that more. And in many ways, I haven't created that opportunity as much in my personal life because I have so much of it in my business. And it's part of the reason I don't sit and meditate very often because I feel like I'm in that space so often in my business. So not having my business around to support me in that way, or my business is still around, but not being in my business in that way, I felt disconnected as well from the oneness, as well as feeling a bit disconnected from the earth because I am moving around so much and I'm really having to consciously ground everywhere I go. And the other thing, the other way I've realized my business nurtures me is it brings me connection. And the connection I have with the audience on Insight Timer, with my clients, with you here, uh, with my groups, that connection It's still there because I'm certainly still liaising with my groups in our Telegram channels, but not in the same way, not as extensively as I usually am. I mean, even my newsletter, I haven't been sending out as regularly. And so I realize how much my business supports me by giving me connection and connection is a really, it's really important to me to have that. 
I'm someone who loves my solitude and having that in harmony with my heart-to-heart connection is really, really important. And my business gives me heart-to-heart connection. And this is what's been quite interesting, not operating in my usual world and my usual friendship circles and being a lot more around family. I'm having connection and it's a lovely connection, but it's not that heart-to-heart soul connection that my business nurtures me with. Another way that the biz nurtures me is it does help me to receive. And it's through, you know, I receive that connection as I was just talking about. It helps me make new connections because very often when I'm on Insight Timer, new people come into my world or even through this podcast, new people come into my world. So not being able to be as present to that is also sort of sabotaging in a way those new connections a little bit, like that channel for new connections. Uh, Obviously through my business, it nurtures me in that I also receive financially. And again, not being able to show up as, um, as much as I would like in my business has limited the financial streams, the financial channels as well. So, you know, it's not just about the financial nurturing, because that's often what we think of when it comes to our business. But there are so many other ways that your business nurtures you. And I've realized this with not having my business be as present in my life or not being able to be as present to my business is probably a better way of putting it. It's really taken something major away from my life. I really feel like something is missing. And it's actually been very, very challenging for me. So it's interesting because personally I have been challenged with what's happening with my mum and the unknown around that and not knowing how long before we can resolve that situation. But I'm also being challenged by just not having my business as present in my life as I like it to be. And I just don't think I realised how important it is to me. I knew it was important, but how much of me is the business, obviously, and that that is such a true expression of me. And maybe that's partly it as well. I'm not getting the opportunity to be the true expression of myself. It gives me the opportunity to do that more than normal life does. And I know that sounds bizarre because it's about learning to translate that across into normal life. But we can't always do that depending on the people around us. So there's like a whole part of me that's not getting expressed as authentically and just openly as I would like. And my business gives me that. And so that nurtures me as well. So, yeah, I've just realized that my business, it brings me love. It brings me joy. It brings me connection. It brings me support. And All of this really nurtures me. It's such a blessing. And the other thing I realized is I miss every single aspect of it. It's not like there's a part of me going, oh, what a relief. I don't have to do my Insight Time Alive. Or what a relief. I don't have to record a podcast episode. What a relief. I don't have to send a newsletter this week. There is none of that. I miss every single aspect. And what that tells me is actually I have successfully got my business to a place where I absolutely love every single aspect. There are no shoulds. There's only what I love. And I feel so expansive in knowing that because it's taken some work to peel back what I don't enjoy, what doesn't feed me, what feels like a should or someone else's rule. It's taken time to do that. And this experience and the fact that I miss every single part of my business is telling me that I'm there. I've got it. For me right now, of course, we're always evolving. But for me right now, I have the perfect business for me. And this is why I'm fully nurtured by my business. So maybe take some time to think about how your business nurtures you. What does it really give you that maybe other aspects of life don't? And 
On the other side, is there anything in your business that is not nurturing you? And if that's the case, why are you hanging on to it? And I realized that one aspect of my business that is really, really nurturing me right now is my work in the receiving channel, or maybe I should say my play in the receiving channel because it's just play. But out of every aspect of my business, that's the one thing that has had a strong role in these last few weeks. And I think it's because the receiving channel isn't just about business. It's, it's about life. It's opening to receive in life. Because I've realized that although I'm much more open now to receiving in many different channels through my business, the time away from my business has highlighted the other parts of my life where I have shut down my receiving channels, or maybe I haven't even shut them down. Maybe they've just not been fully activated. They've really brought that to my attention. As the kookaburras have a laugh about me. So I have to share this story, which is quite amusing, really. I did share it with uh, the ladies in the receiving channel. But when I was flying down to Melbourne just over a week ago, I had a weekend booked in to go down with to be with my kids. Uh, and so that's nothing to do with everything else that's going on for me, but I was determined to have this time out for me and to just play with my kids. And when I was on the plane, I got talking to the guy next to me who is an abundance coach, and he had moved from Melbourne up to the Byron Shire at the beginning of COVID and uh, runs retreats and things, and we had a fabulous conversation. And I was sharing with him about my work with the Patreon channel, with the receiving channel. So I was just explaining to him about it and I was talking about, you know, because we were talking about abundance and, you know, I said that something I've observed and uh, I'm going to write about this in my newsletter this week is the fact that we're not open to receiving abundance. So we're trying to manifest abundance in our life, but our receiving channels are blocked and, you know, you can't have abundance. Abundance is flow. You cannot have abundance without receiving. So I was talking a lot about this. Anyway, his husband was picking him up from the airport and they live or they were, they're selling their house down there and they live a couple of suburbs away from my son. And so he said, we'll give you a lift home. And I was like, great, because it was like peak hour and I was going to have to get a bus and a tram. And so, you know, that was wonderful. And I, I got in the car and and I, I noticed myself a few times saying, oh, I'm just so grateful, you know, for you um, giving me this lift and I hope I haven't put you out and, you know, because I know you're going a bit out of your way. And I obviously said it one time too many and he turned around and he looked at me and he said, how about you just receive it? <laughs> and I was like, touche. It was like so well-timed. And it made me go, oh my gosh, here I am doing all this work on receiving in um, in my business. And I have been focusing on it and aware of my blocks to receiving in my personal life. But that was just a beautiful illustration of how it can be really challenging uh, for us to receive because of the programming that we have. So I am really learning about receiving right now and even the fact I'm staying with all these different family members with mum while we try and find a home for her. And, you know, it's always inconvenient, really, not completely, but, you know, it puts out people's routines when you're in their place. So I notice still this tendency to want to make up for that, whether it's with the food I buy or how I'm helping out or just this tendency to really, oh my gosh, I can't just receive this. I have to be giving something back. And of course you want to, but I'm just watching this. I'm just watching how this is playing out for me. And can I just receive without having to feel like I need to give back more? It's just that I'm, it's flowing through me and the giving comes out. I'm just having some interesting observations around it. So, you know, as I often say, I feel like our business is our training ground for real life. And actually this opportunity for me right now is, okay, so you feel like you've mastered all this stuff in your business, Jacqueline? Well, let's put you into real life, okay, with your family and let's see here how much, how well have you mastered these things? Let's just go a little deeper, shall we? Anyway, so I'm receiving the gifts of this. Uh, it's insightful, shall we say. So 
You know, this receiving does tie in with the nurturing because you cannot be nurtured by your business if you are not receiving the way that your business is nurturing you. Now, if you would like to embrace the multitude of channels of receiving that are available to you, I really encourage you to check out the receiving channel, my membership on Patreon. It is exquisite. It really is an amazing group of women who are really, we're really supporting each other because I'm on the journey as well, obviously, from what I'm sharing. And we are really supporting each other, whether it's through our business or whether it's through our, in our personal life. But to really become aware about how we are blocking receiving, how we can open to that. And twice a month we meet for meditations. You don't have to be there live for them because I upload them straight away and you can listen to them on the channel. But if you join, you actually get access to all of those meditations. So, so far we've done 11 on all different types of receiving. So you have access to all of that as soon as you join And there's no contract with Patreon. You could join and just stay for a month. That's fine. And actually, it's recently changed the payment. So when you join, so say you join on the 18th, well, then you are billed again on the 18th. So that's been a change to how they do their billing. So you've got a whole month and then you can decide, no, that's that, you know, I've got all I need or I don't, it's not quite right for me and you can leave. So it's a great way to um, to just sample it and decide if it's the space for you. But I know that everyone who's in there really loves it. And if you are interested in having a more in-depth um, and a personal activation every month, there's only 15 spaces for that and there's only one left. Um, that is the most popular uh, membership level. It's called the Activators Uh, because you do receive a personal activation that you can listen to over and over again through the month. So there's a lucky, you know, there could be one lucky listener who manages to get in there to get that final spot. But otherwise, there is the meditator tier, and that's 14 Australian dollars a month. Depending which country you are, Patreon shows it in your currency. And as I said, you'll get access to all the previous meditations as well as the new ones that come out each month. So if you feel like, yes, it is time to open yourself to receiving more deeply, there are so many new energies coming onto the earth right now. And our work on the receiving channel is actually opening us ourselves energetically to be able to receive these new energies. So we're not just receiving physically or receiving support or receiving love or receiving money. Um, or receiving our intuition. It's it's not just about that. It's actually about preparing ourselves energetically as well to receive the new energies that are coming onto the earth. There's a whole new frequency of receiving available to us now, and that's what we're working with on the receiving channel. And this is going to be a very important part of the new earth that we are creating together. So if you are ready to be fully nurtured by your business, fully nurtured by life, then you must receive it. So go and check out my Patreon channel, uh, patreon.com forward slash Jacqueline Atkins. I'll also put the link in the show notes and join me on the receiving journey. Until next time, have an alchemical week in your biz. Thanks for listening to Biz Alchemy. I'm Jacqueline Atkins. If you'd love to know more about the energy of business, join my newsletter list at JacquelineAtkins.com and check out my receiving channel on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Jacqueline Atkins. Until next time, enjoy creating alchemy in your biz.